Hi, I'm uh, Veronique de Sie. I'm a postdoc at Wageningen University, uh, where I also work as part of C4's uh, Red Plus Comparative Study. The starting point where we started from was independent monitoring and we also realized that uh, and independent monitoring can be important but it all leads basically to transparent monitoring and this also uh, ties to the enhanced transparency framework of the Paris Agreement and that's where it started from. We also had very interesting panelists that touched upon more of this sort of aspects of how do we uh, involve communities, uh, what about issues of multi-level governance and also uh, some experiences from um, uh, young professionals that work in this field of Red Plus and agriculture but also thinking about Red Plus reference levels uh, and, and drivers of deforestation basically. So there were a lot of uh, topics uh, we touched upon uh, sort of in the opening in, the, in our speakers and panelists. So if we think about Red Plus and avoided deforestation, of course, we also have to link it to agriculture because if you think about land use change, a lot of the forest uh, goes to agriculture. And uh, so how can we uh, link these two sectors? And I think we see the sustainable development goals really as a way to link these because that's what they already do in, in, a, in sort of their different goals. Uh, sort of, for example, uh, not only climate change mitigation, but also um, uh, food security. And, and we need also indicators and, and a way to monitor these. So all these things together kind of um, resulted in why don't we uh, try and do that all together basically and see uh, and what does that mean basically. Do we need to make one monitoring system? Do we need to make several? And how can we all align those or make sure that they complement each other? But um, so that, that is a lot of the issues we're, we're uh, talking about now. It also comes with a lot of challenges uh, because different stakeholders have different needs. The data might not always be appropriate for those needs. So we need also to be more transparent about what the data does, what are the uncertainties related to that. Uh, we need to document better what we do. Uh, so there is a lot of aspects that we need to think about basically. That is a very good question. Uh, I don't think it has a clear answer. You see a lot of initiative, initiatives popping up. And besides all these uh, sort of more international organizations and initiatives, we also see, uh, we also have to look what happens on the ground and we need to find a way to, to gather the experiences and the practices that already exist and learn from them and try to also scale them up. Uh, we also had a, a poll in our uh, event where we asked, okay, what is the highest priority now moving forward? And what came out of there is that a lot of people thought that countries should start to lead the dialogue with stakeholders to move uh, these things forward and also to implement better this transparent monitoring. So also maybe on the national level, there is now a sort of a, a, a mandate to, to sort of move this forward. And I think it has to come from all levels, basically, in different ways. But the, uh, yeah, I don't think there's going to be only one person responsible for it or going to lead this because it's going to be a very complex and plural system uh, because there's so many needs and so many frameworks already out there and, and uh, yeah I find it difficult to say who will actually need to do that. I don't think there's going to be one, uh, I, I think I hope there will not be one uh, person or organization responsible because it's better to sort of uh, try and uh, tie this all together. Yeah, I would say to summarize, looking ahead, what we what we could do is sort of, I think, dialogue between uh, all different stakeholders, whether it's uh, between data producers and, and data users or researchers and stakeholders, but also countries with uh, stakeholders, uh, local stakeholders, for example, and communities. Also, I think it would be good to develop practices and show experiences of how this actually works and also really learn from that. So I would say uh, what we would really need to do to move forward is develop consensus guidelines but also really learn from the practices and experiences out there.